Welcome, I'm gonna do something a little different today. Throughout my restoration, I've been using both self-etch primer for areas that um, I know are never gonna be seen again, and weld through primer in between uh, spots where I know that I'm gonna be welding. Um, if you talk to five different people about what they use weld through primer for, you're gonna get five different answers. So if you're interested, here's a sixth answer. So if you, are welding two pieces of metal together, um, you would put weld through primer between those so that when you weld, uh, it actually won't burn back. The theory is that um, it's zinc rich or sometimes copper rich, uh, and it actually resists the heat better. At least that's what I'm told. So um, the idea is you put it in between and the weld doesn't burn back the primer. So theoretically, it protects in between the bed, in between the metal better. So that's all well and good, and I, I've gone through several cans of this throughout the years, but I've never actually tested it to see if that's true, and I think that is probably an oversight on my part. So let's do that. Okay, the metal I'm using is just some scrap mild steel. It's um, somewhere between 25 and 26 gauge, so about... 0 0.02 inches um, or about 20 thousandths. So that is uh, maybe a little on the thin side for what typically you'd see uh, on restoring a classic car. So this is about, you know, about as thin as you'd normally go. So these are the two uh, primers that I'm going to be testing. Um, one is just a duplicolor self-etch automotive primer, nothing too special. And I picked this up just at the local uh, parts store. The other is um, Seymour Weld Through Primer Gray. Um, I actually have gone through several different kinds of Weld Through Primer and I've had varying success. Uh, a lot of times uh, when you weld over the weld through, sometimes it'll spatter and doesn't get a nice clean weld. Um, this stuff actually does pretty well, so I've stuck with it for a while. I'm going to go ahead and prep this metal um, just like I normally would do, so finish cleaning it off. It's it's pretty clean, but give it a once-over, uh, maybe with a Scotch-Brite pad and then with lacquer thinner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave one section bare metal, do self-etch on one section, and weld through primer on another. The area with the self-etch, um, what people have said they've done is where you go to weld the holes, actually once you clamp it in place, the other piece of metal, clean up where you're going to be welding. So essentially you have the primer all the way up to the weld. Um, also what I'm gonna do is on the back side, put the same, the same primers there so I can see how the heat affected area works to see if the weld through primer actually does resist the heat better than just a self edge. And if you are a regular or have seen my videos before, you will be painfully aware I'm not a professional welder. Uh, I have very basic equipment, just a little Lincoln 110 that's over a decade old, um, but it's good enough for the mild steel that I use it with. So, okay, here is my test setup bare weld through self edge and the pieces I'm welding to it. Um, so, yep, I'm gonna just clamp them in place. Um, and obviously on the uh, primered ones, primer side down. Uh, and when I do the self-etch, I will clean the holes so that there's a little uh, bare metal to weld through. Um, and I've got a little camera down there. Hopefully it'll catch what the uh, what it looks like on the other side um, and how the primer's affected over there. Uh, the idea is this is supposed to mimic um, regular plug welds that you would do, uh, you know, if you're restoring a car like this and you're just doing sheet metal, sheet metal um, plug welds. So I have 5 16 holes and everything's prepped the way I normally would do it. Yeah, as I mentioned, I'm not a professional welder. However, the bare metal... Yeah, those laid in there pretty nicely, not too bad. You can maybe see the self or the uh, sorry, the weld through got pretty smoky, um, and I was having some spattering. And then 
the cell fetch was just kind of a nightmare. Um, this might be as much me as anything else, and we're not here to test my welding because we already know how bad it is. So let's actually flip it over and see how the heat impacted the primers. Um, so again, bare steel, awesome. You've got a nice heat affected zone there. I made sure to get it in there nice and hot. Just gonna use a little utility blade just to see what lifts. Okay, this center part here looks like bare metal. So it looks like all of the weld through's gone there. But that's coming off and that's just soot. So it looks to me like it actually came off right where the hottest part of the weld was here, but then it's still, it still looks like it's still there for, uh, at least there's some residue, hopefully some protective primer immediately afterwards. That's encouraging. Kind of similar, this inner white part on the self etch is all burned away. And then a similar residue. Um, hmm. Interesting. I'll tell you what, let me just do a little bit of scotch bright instead of uh, something so aggressive. Perfect. That yeah, look at that. So that inner, I guess, second ring of dark there, I was barely putting any pressure on that. And it came right down to bare metal. So I'm guessing that lost adhesion all around that, I don't know, thumb width, <laughs> my thumb width area. Whereas here on the salt, on the uh, weld through, it's coming up but I'm, I'm having to work at it. Um. You know, the more I think about it, the more I'm wondering if I gave these primers a fair chance. Um, so I prepped and cleaned and did everything uh, like normal and let it set up for about an hour, which is longer than the cans say you need to. Uh, I'm wondering if it just didn't have enough chance to adhere. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, repeat what I did on the other side, uh, having it set up for a few days, and do various lines of weld just to see how the heat affects on the other side again. Um, this time, instead of letting it set up for an hour, letting it set up for a few days beneath here. Same setup as before. I'm going to use a little lacquer thinner to uh, try to remove as much of the self etch primer as I can. And just to compare, I'm going to remove the uh, one spot of the weld through. The whole idea is you're supposed to be able to weld through it. It's in the name. Um, but we'll see how it does without any weld through and see if that helps.
Okay, so I did the four normal plug welds up here, and then you may have seen in the video, I tried to go from just a little tack weld and then go increasing heat to the point where obviously at the end, I'm just blasting heat into it just to see what happens. Um, honestly, this looks about the same as, uh, as what I had last time. So kind of no difference between an hour and a couple of days. Um, so you can tell kind of that white ring, this is on the self etch side, that white ring comes off um, and you've got all the way down to, well, be great if I focused, sorry, all the way down to bare metal there. Um, kind of similar here with the white ring and then I can't scratch it off with my fingernail, but so it's still, it doesn't hold up all that well, but it's better than uh, just the self etch primer. Okay, here's my, my end conclusion. If you're going to use something in between where you're welding, if you want a primer that's going to withstand the heat, it looks like self etch might be a little bit worse than weld through primer. That being said, I'm honestly not overly impressed with weld through. It looks like it might have some protective properties a little bit better than self etch, but I'm kind of surprised. It is not that much better. Um, all that being said, for my application, it looks like any of this is better than nothing. Uh, when Ford did this back in the day, they didn't, they didn't, except for a few spots I found in the book, they didn't really protect a lot of this metal. They just clamped it together or did what they needed to do, spot welded it, and moved on. I know because that that's a lot of the rust I'm fixing. So, um, yeah, something's better than nothing. Weld through might be slightly better than uh, self-edge primer.